Nations. We are joined by the Penn State Nittany Lions, head coach Micah Shrewsbury, Jalen Pickett, Seth Lundy, and Keba Jai. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach Shrewsbury, then we'll take questions for the student athletes. Coach. And Indiana is a, uh, Indiana's a really good team. Um, Trace Jackson Davis is a, is a stud. And, you know, being from Indiana and being able to see him, like he played for Zach Hahn, who I coached in, at Butler, and seeing him from high school all the way through, he, he is – he's special. He's special. And for us to be able to play this way against this caliber of team – um, I thought, you know, until a certain point towards the end of the game, I thought our defense was fantastic today. Um, you know, just happy for these guys, proud of these guys. Um, we get a chance to play again tomorrow. Questions for the student athletes, please raise your hand and we'll get a mic to you. Let's start over there with Tom, then we'll come to Abby. Jalen, you were able to, to back your way in quite a bit today, and they kind of looked like they kept throwing the same sort of defense at you. Were you at all surprised that they didn't change up on you too much? Um, yeah, uh, they played. They were kind of staying home on shooters. Um, we played them earlier this year. We shot bombs away from three, so we kind of figured they were going to stay home. So I was able to really get into the gaps um, and get deep to where I wanted to to be able to just rise up and shoot it. Abby. But you grabbed four offensive rebounds. The team got nine as a whole, and you guys scored 12 points off of those. Um, how hard is that to do against a team like Indiana? Offensive rebound is not like, in general, it's not easy at all. Because, you know, especially playing against someone like Trace Jackson Davis, you know, All-American and all that. And so, like, every time I was going for my rebounds, I just wanted to, you know, I, was, I had a winning mentality. I wanted to go out there and win. So we'll go to Mason, front row left. Jalen, you guys have now won three straight games in this tournament, and like Coach just said, you guys have an opportunity to play one more. What does it mean to you guys have just been able to constantly overcome despite your lower seed? Um, yeah, it's really important for us. You know, we have a poster in our locker room saying believe, and, you know, I think our team is believing in us. We ended the regular season pretty well on a high note, and now, you know, it's showing in the tournament, and I feel like we're playing our best basketball right around here now. We'll go all the way to the far left side. Kevin, yeah, you dealt with a lot of physicality today from Trace, Race, and everyone that they have in the post. Uh, how do you feel physically, and how did this stack up against what you expected from those guys physically? Uh, honestly, I expected, like, just, like, what they did, you know what I'm saying? So they're very physical, and I was, I was preparing for that too. So right now I feel great because, you know, we got the win, but later my body might be hurting and all that. But it's all good. Other questions for the student athletes? Go over here to Jay on the left-hand aisle. For uh, Seth or Jalen, uh, they had that stretch in the second half where they rallied to tie it at 47, and then you guys pulled away right again after that. What does that stretch right after they came back to tie it at 47 say about your guys and your mental toughness around this time of year? Seth. Uh, yeah, that's just – um, we've been dealing with that, like, this whole tournament. Um, the the game of basketball is all about runs, and uh, they won, they run, and uh, we just – that's every time – every single time we just huddle up and talk to each other and just bring the group back together. And um, we feel like we play three road games here. And, uh, you know, the crowd is always against us and stuff like that. I feel like all these teams are closer to uh, this location. So, you know, it's a, it's a road mentality. And uh, we won't let the crowd rattle us or nothing. You know, we just stick together and, uh, and keep fighting. Far right side, Dan. Seth, Jalen, um, you guys have been through so much over the course of not just this season but last season as well. What does it mean to you guys to have this some um, Big Ten season be ending with a chance to play for a championship? Jalen first, then Seth. Um, it's really special. You know, we felt like throughout the whole year we've seen guys putting in work and we all talked about what kind of team we can be when we're all on the same page and we're all playing together. And, you know, to be standing here right now in this moment um, is kind of refreshing. But it kind of makes us more hungry because we want to go out and, you know, finish what we started. Go all the way back on the far left side. Jalen, when you guys were, uh, you know, it, things got a little nervy there at the end. Was there any change in mentality for you guys or, or what happened that kind of allowed that? And how did you recover in the end? Um, yeah, they, they turned up the heat a little bit with the press. Um, we got to clean up that a little bit. So I'm sure we're going to walk through some things there. But um, we just got to learn how to finish games. So we're not perfect, but we're going to watch film, review that, and we'll be better for tomorrow. In the middle, second row, Jeff. Yeah, Jalen, you guys obviously are one of the best 
teams in the country at not only three-point shooting but percentage of points from three. What is it about your offense that gives you guys the ability to be this productive, this consistently? Him. Um, dude draws up great plays for us, and we shoot a bunch of open shots. So, I mean, when you get open looks, um, it's it's amazing. It builds confidence. And then when, once you do that, you know, we're really good players, too, and we all work on our game. You've seen Seth last time. Once he's in a rhythm, I mean, he can shoot from anywhere. And Funk shoots from anywhere regardless whether he's, you know, warming up or not. He shoots from anywhere, so. Take a few more for the student-athletes, all the way on the far left side by the curtain. Uh, Pick, where are you guys physically as a team? You, you touched on it a little bit, but the challenge of playing four games in four days, how, how are you prepared for that, and, and, and what do you think you have to do between now and the next game to get where you need to be? Uh, it's a championship game. Nobody's tired. Nobody's fatigued. It feels like day one, honestly, coming up. But we're going to get in with Justin. Um, my trainer, and just do some treatment and stretching. We have a routine going at the hotel, so we're going to get on top of that. One last one for these guys. Anybody? All right, you guys can head back to the locker room. Congratulations. Thank Good you. luck tomorrow. We'll continue with questions for Coach Shrewsbury. If you have a question for Coach, raise your hand. We'll start here in the middle with William. Hey, Coach. Hood Shafino, 4 of 13 from the field. You guys really shut him down. What are some things you did to prepare for him, and uh, how do you feel like you guys guarded him today? Um, I think our ball screen defense has been pretty good here recently, and um, we're just trying to be aggressive, um, trying to be disciplined, trying to get guys in the, in the tough spots. Um, He's really good in the mid-range, and he makes a bunch of those shots. But we tried to bottle him up and always have somebody there to contest it when he got there and tried to keep him away from the rim as much as possible, You know, which is a tough task, all while trying to keep Trace away from the rim. But I thought our rotations were really good. Um, I thought we were pretty crisp in it. And um, you know, we're, we're playing our best basketball right now. Abby on the right side. Coach, you had a little bit of uh, free throw trouble yesterday, but today you only missed three going 23 for 26. Did you guys talk about that at all after the game, or what, what do you think was different? No, nothing. We're, we're a really good free throw shooting team. Um, the first couple games, are they weren't us, so I didn't even mention it. I didn't even talk about it. Um, we just let these guys play, and they step up and make shots. That's what they do. They work on their games. They can step up and make shots you know, under pressure, no matter what happens. And then my, my college coach, Mike Beitzel, texted me um, last night. He said, don't talk about it either. So I follow his orders at all times. Far left side, Zach. Coach, I recognize, forgive me, I'm sort of asking for trade secrets a little bit here. But I guess when you play Indiana, it's twice now you've really seemed to be able to switch them into some disadvantageous defensive matchups. I know they played two bigs a lot of the time, so maybe that's part of it. But what – allows you as a team that can spread them out to get them into those situations where they're not where they want to be defensively? We do it to everybody, right? It's not just Indiana. Um, that's how we play. That's how we play. We, you know, we play off a lot of movement. We play off a lot of screens. And then we get to a certain point in the game where we just hunt matchups. And, uh, you know, I believe in, in our guys and what they're able to do. So, you know, Pickett can get the matchup he wants to go to the post. Cam can get the matchup and ISO it. Um, Seth can do the same thing, Kanye. So uh, we got a bunch of different guys that can make plays one-on-one, but it also forces you to – if those guys are beating somebody off the dribble, you either got to help or we're getting the layup. Now once you help, we're kicking that ball out. Now you're chasing us around and we're spraying it around, and that's where we get a bunch of our threes. We're going to stay on the left side, Dana. Micah, when, when Jalen went into this portal, what was it about him that you liked, number one? And then after you had him for a year last year, how did you kind of change your offense to really utilize his strengths? It was, it was really important for me trying to build a program. Um, guards win. Any really good guards to win. And he was one of the best guards in the portal. Um, so we had to – we had to try and, you know, find somebody. After watching him, looking at his numbers, talking to him, he was such a smart player. His basketball IQ is really high. He loves the game of basketball, which is like, you know, I'm 46, but when I was on the bus riding with my teammates, that's all we were talking about was basketball. Kids are different these days. Not everybody's talking about basketball like that on bus rides. Jalen Pickett is. 
He's watched whatever games are on TV, college, pro, whatever. He works on his game all the time. He loves the game. He got a high basketball IQ. Whatever situations come or he's seen different defenses, he can handle them and adjust during the game without, you know, us having to call a timeout and instruct him what to do. I think that's the biggest thing. He's so smart. He understands the game and he loves it and he wants to be really good and he wants to win. Right side middle, second row. Coach, you've gone on this unbelievable run, and going into tomorrow's game, you're playing against Purdue in the championship against Matt Painter, a guy you've asked for advice and coached for before. What's that feeling knowing against you're going against him? It's never fun, right? Um, because they, they beat our brains in every single time we've played them. Um, but, like, it, it's, it's like the friendliest of rivalries that um, he's a guy that – I call and I talk to all the time. And, you know, despite us being in the same league, we're talking about things throughout the year. Um, we're helping each other. Not we're helping each other. He's helping me. Um, so, like, I'm always indebted to him and I owe a lot of gratitude to him from, you know, he showed me, like, in my years there, how to run a college basketball program, how to do it the right way, how to recruit the kids that fit your system. Um, you know, so it's it's fun. It'll be a great challenge. Um, you know, we we gotta we gotta be ready. We gotta be physical. Um, we gotta play good offense. Um, but we're gonna fight. We're gonna compete, and uh, that's what I love about our guys. Left side, Sam. Uh, Micah, I'm gonna debunk what you said just a little bit because Matt had said earlier this year a lot of what they run are things that they took from you that you brought from Butler that you brought from the Celtics. Zach was up here earlier and said how. He wouldn't be where he is if you didn't help develop him as a freshman. Uh, how much do you see kind of your footprint still on that program and, and what it's done? And I, I don't know about that. They're just being nice, right? That, that's that's his program, right? Uh, he, he's been doing great things for so long. Like, I just wanted to be a small part of it. And um, Brandon Brantley's putting in the real work with, with Zach. Um, but those are my guys, man, players and coaches. Uh, but I know, like, the the – how we are, like we're going to go after each other. We're going to go after each other. And uh, then when it's over, then we'll be back to friends. So, like they run really good stuff. We got to be good defensively. Uh, we got to be really good defensively. We got to score. We got to score so we can have some confidence. Far right side, Dan. Micah, you touched on how much of a matchup nightmare Trace is. What does it say about Keba and Miles fighting him for 40 minutes and um, having such a strong performance today? I, I was so impressed with Keba. Right, like he he starts games and he doesn't always play big minutes because we we downsize a lot. Um, but ever since we lost at Nebraska, he had like four or five offensive rebounds there, and like we're you know we're three hundred and sixty three in the country in the offensive rebounding. Um, but he like the, something flipped the switch for him right there. Maybe it was the first time through the league and the physicality that he had to play with and the effort and. He totally flipped the script, and since that game, he's been lights out. Like, he might not always score. He might not always do things. He, he might still mess things up, but he's been going to the glass. He's been getting us extra possessions, and those have been huge. He battled. He fought down there in the post, and uh, so I'm, I'm just happy for him, man. He, he probably has no idea what he just did and who he was guarding. <laughs> we'll go on the far left side, then we'll finish with Julian. Mike, it was reported today that you're one of the leading candidates at Georgetown and that Notre Dame is interested. Have you or your agent spoken to either of those programs, and can you comment on those reports? Yeah, I, you know what, like, you know me, John. I'm like, basketball season is going on. I'm completely tunnel vision on our team and state high basketball, right? Like, you know, I miss my kids' game today. They won by 40. Shout out state high, moving on, little lines, moving on to the state tournament. Um, but that's all I'm focused on. Uh, I'm not – I'm happy to be here, right? Nobody wanted me a few years ago. I'm happy to be here. Um, I love our guys. We're going to prepare to play for a championship tomorrow. Julian, we'll finish with you. Coach, how do you separate uh, – we talked uh, earlier about Matt Painter, but how do you separate uh, the fact that, you know, you guys are going for a championship, but yet – this is a friend. This is a colleague. This is somebody who hasn't won since 2009, and you're in the way. How do you separate that? 
It's um, it's easy because we're both competitors, right? We'll I'll see them in the hallway and we'll joke and we'll laugh and we'll shake hands when they announce our names, and then we're we're tooth and nail we're gonna fight each other, right? We both love to win. We both hate to lose. Um, so in that moment, that's all we're focused on. That's all we're focused on. I would love it if he felt a different way and was like, hey, why don't you guys go ahead and win? We're not going to show up tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you guys. Good luck tomorrow. We'll be joined by Indiana momentarily.